Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to Manor Lords, episode number two of Dutchieville. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep going. Let's uh, click on uh, normal speed for now and yeah, we have a pop-up because I have to re I had to restart the game. In almost all cases, resources in Manor Lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, what's this? Exposed goods in the store. Oh yeah, because we moved something around, right? Tools, stone and firewood. Uh, we don't have a storage house yet. We will have to make that soon, but uh, we are going to make the uh, woodcutter's lodge over here first because we need fuel. We have plenty of food because we have berries and we are getting some eggs from some of the houses. And we still have some breads as well. Yeah, now the stocks are getting damaged over here, which is very annoying because that will... Uh, break it down. So I think the next thing that we want to build is the uh, storage house over here. Where we can put the stuff over uh, in a safe spot with a roof. Now this will be the market and maybe we should plan to make this the center of the uh, thing. So I think I'm gonna build the storage house over here. Oh we don't have enough timber. We do not have enough timber. The logging camp needs to uh, get more timber first. Okay. Let's put a family on the woodcutter's lodge. It is now finished. Because we need firewood. Quickly. So this is how the building looks like. Very uh, simple. But yeah, the more... The more um, f the, the, the buildings that are going to look better uh, will be later in the game. Because we can upgrade to level 2 and level 3. And then they are going to look very nice, the houses. And the same counts for the granary. We can upgrade this to a large granary as well. And the same counts for the, uh, uh, the storage house. So let's go to speed 2. <coughs> that is times 4. Because we really need to get this going. Otherwise we are going to die, I think. Yes, we are running out of fuel, I know. This segment either needs food or fuel. I know, I'm working on it. I am waiting for the timber. Okay, we have the timber, so let's build the storehouse now. I think I'm gonna build it here. Yeah. Nice. So please uh, work on this so that we can put these goods uh, under a uh, roof before they're all gonna get uh, deteriorated. And you guys need to hurry. Making firewood. Now, luckily it's April, so we don't use that much. It's heavier than it looks. Yeah, I, I guess so. Chop. <laughs> we only have one month fuel. I hope I will not uh, <laughs> uh, completely ruin this. <laughs> that would be very bad for the first playthrough. Okay, so this is their, their pantry or something. It's just a generic storage. I think a pantry is for food. And uh, yeah. One of these staples is one firewood, I think. And I, I think she picks it up and brings it to the market. At least I think so. Luckily it's very close. Yeah, there's a firewood stall. Okay, good. And what do we have for food over here? We have some bread, we have berries. That's it. But yeah, there are a lot of berries on other parts uh, that need to be uh, collected. And that is what these people are doing. They are going to the uh, the forager hut and take the berries over here and bring it to the granary. Or, or to the market. Okay, let's uh, speed this up because I want to build the store out, the store house. And I hope that we'll have enough fuel. We have room for one more family. We have five and we have room for six, so... Don't really have to expand yet, but I would love to expand quickly. Okay, we have two months of fuel again, so I think we are fine. Let's get all the timber in. Would love to make car coal. That would uh, that is that is double more efficient. So should look to get that going at some point. What is the name of my uh, my ox again? York. 
and York is going back to the hitching post. We can upgrade this to a small stable and order another ox or a horse. I don't know if a horse can do the same things as an ox. I have no idea. Okay, and we have built the storehouse. So this is the storehouse. It looks okay, I guess. Let's put a family on over here. So we have no families uh, left to construct. But I think we need to uh, get the goods over here. And we have a new message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily a shipment of weapons has just arrived. And you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows. Either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. Oh. We have 20 spears and large shields. Now let's take a look over here because that is the army tab that we need to do now. We can make militia footman, spear militia, pole arm militia, and archer militia. Can I do this right now without losing these people to work? I don't know, and I'm gonna try to find this out. So, uh, what is this footman here? The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shields depend on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the village's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the units re unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then you will be able to rally your units. So what do you guys need? You need swords and shields. Well, you need these things. Well, we don't have those. So, go away. Do we have this? Yes. We have spears and we have these shields. So we can make some spear militia. And when we get more male population, because we now have 10, they will uh, go. When we have 20, we can make an army of 20 because we have 20 spears and 20 large shields. And what, is, what are these things then? What is this? These are pole arms. What do you need? Oh, you need pole arms. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And the archers need uh, war bows. Okay, I will absolutely make a lot of archers <coughs> because I am an archer fan. But for now, we're going to just click the spear militia. And do I need to do something else? I can pick a rally point and that's it. So they are now done, I guess. But will they then wear the spears and the uh, shields or will they do it when I make a rally point? I think when I make a rally point. Yeah, there are no assigned families to guide the ox, but that is fine. Okay. We need more population so I can make a 20 army to protect my village. Okay, did they bring everything to the storehouse? Almost, there are six tools left. And there we go, they bring it under the roof. I like that. Perfect. Oh, that was the ox making a sound. Market food variety is going up. Uh, we have 14 months of food. Why is no one bringing this home? No idea. They should. Should be allowed over here, right? Everything is allowed, so... That should be the case. Recruits are missing, yeah, yeah. That will come up. What is the tap up thing doing? Oh. Oh, when you press tap, you can see the attack armor, charge, anti-armor, shield, and impaling. Okay, so that are the stats in this game, apparently. Very interesting. Okay, we are having saved ourselves with the fuel. We are doing fine. We now need more uh, more families coming, so that we can put more families on other things. Because right now we have one on the storehouse, one on the granary, 
uh, wood cutting, logging, and berries. And I would love to make planks as well, so that we can continue building other things. Um, are we getting more timber? I think it's time to upgrade some of our houses. Uh, but we need four timber. So maybe we should just make more plots, because that is cheaper, right? And we need way more houses later on anyway, so let's get a couple more burgage plots over here. What if I build one here? Yeah, there we go. Now we have no family working on this. So what I think I'm going to do is put the family out of the storehouse now, since they have taken everything there, and they can start working on this new plot. I think that is a, a better idea. Okay, let's go to speed 4 and let's build another house. I think I'm going to build one more here as well. I think I'm going to build houses here, here, here and here. And then make this a bit of a center with industry. The church and the tavern and the blacksmith. Maybe make a big busy shopping part here. And then surround it by the houses. I think that is what I'm going to do. Okay, we have brought the uh, timber, because it's very close to my uh, logging camp, so... The, f the free family cannot work on this. And then we have room for two more families. What do we need to do to go to the next level? We need two plots to be level two. And they can only go to level 2 when they have water access, when they have a church, and when we have clothing. So we have to work on that. Uh, the well is very easy. The well is in the residential area, and you need to build this where there is underground water. Now this is the market spot. Let's put it over here. That will be the next thing to do. There we go, we have a new family. Uh, we now have uh, six families, and it also means that we have another uh, male troop. And is that one now going over here? It should go there soon, hopefully. But we still have room for an extra um, family to move in. Let's build this well. And when we have built the well, we need to build a church and clothing. Now, clothing... Uh, let's see... Should be industry or... Yeah. We have a weaver. That can put flax and wool into yarn and linen. Or we are going to use hides to produce leather. Do we have anything that, that gives us uh, hides? No, because we are not hunting. So what we should do is start hunting this uh, wild animal uh, thing. Next. That we also get some hides that we can make into uh, leather. So that will be the next thing to do. And we need to build a church. And the church you need 20 planks and 5 timber. So we need also need to make planks. And planks is over here, the saw pit. So you have timber. Timber is uh, produced into firewood. And timber is produced into planks. And you need a lot of planks in this, uh, this game, I think. So, uh, and we have the forester to... Uh, I plant new trees, but that is a waste of a family slot, I think, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we do have two spare families, so maybe we should uh, just start making the uh, the saw pit here. And start getting some planks so that we can build the church. Uh, let's see, maybe we should make some roads. Oh yeah, we need to remove the hitching post. It's in the way over here. Let's do it there, and then I will build a road here. So, something like this. And I will also build a road here. This way. Just to have a little bit of uh, roads going to this uh, main road, I guess. Something like that. Okay. Keep going, and then we are going to build that uh, saw pit. I think I'm going to build it over here, next to the... This is more of a wood industry over here. There we go. 
It's going to be the next thing to do. And then we are going to start hunting some uh, food. Okay, the food is doing very well. We have 81 berries. So this is a uh, rich deposit. And later on in the game you get technologies where you can get infinite stuff, I think, when it's a rich one. It's a rich deposit when it has a crown above it. Uh, for example, over here there's also a rich berry. And here we have a rich iron. So this is unlimited iron. So we would love to take this state here. Also unlimited clay. Then we just need unlimited stone. And then we have everything. And that is over here, so... Oh, this is the enemy. So if we want to take this down, we have to fight. And if we lose that, then I think we lose the game. <laughs> there we go. We have now 12 of 36, so the male population automatically go, goes and gets uh, all the stuff. Did they also pick up... Where are all my shields and stuff? Wait a minute. Is that laying around somewhere? Why is that not in the storehouse? Where is it? I have no idea. Where is Where are my uh, shields and spears that I have left? Where are they? I don't see them. Are they stolen? That happened in my uh, test run. No idea, guys. Oh! You have your armaments over here. Yeah, yeah, but you are... You are my militia. But where is the spare stuff, then? I don't know, guys. I have no idea where it is. I think it's laying on the map somewhere. Let's put a uh, family on the storehouse. Maybe they are gonna get it. It should go in the storehouse, right? Yeah. So it should go here. The stuff that is left should go to the storehouse and not somewhere else, I think. Otherwise, I don't know how the game works. Which is very possible. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna pick the uh, firewood and put it in the storehouse, right? Yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go over here as well? Uh, there are only two carts, I think. So one of them is going to walk around. I'm not sure how this works, guys. Where are my spare shields? If you guys know, tell me in the comment section. I have no idea. I really don't know. What I do know is that I want more uh, houses. What if I make one here, like this? Oh no. I want them to have a garden, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to build houses on this side. But we could build one extra here. Oh, the snapping is... If you turn off snapping, it's still snapping. Which is... Very unfortunate. Oh wait, I can do it like this. And then turn it around. That is a way you can do it. Okay. I guess that's going to be the way how to play this game, I guess. Build it from this side and then turn it around. Uh, did we build the saw pit? Yes. Let's put a family here to... Well, then we have no one building. So we need more families now. Let's go to speed 4. And we will tell this saw pit that you can only make planks when there are 10 timbers in the reserve. So there are 4 now, so we are not going to make any planks until we have 10. When there's a family there, of course. And yeah, the clothing we can do a couple of uh, ways. Uh, where is it? Industry. Hides from hunting. We can also do wool and flax. Now let's take a look at the, at the flax. Now uh, that is farming. Flax fertility. We do have some good flax fertility on the back here. That would be amazing for a farm. Um, I 
Then we also they will need a farmhouse and then they will start doing this. Um, or do we go with sheep? And how does that even work? Do I need to order sheep? Well, let's find out. I guess we're going to get some sheep over here. Uh, where is it? Is it also farming? No. Don't know. Bring this here. Move that there. On and on. Oh yeah, we never got the apiary. Um, forager hood. Hunting camp. That is the hitching post, yeah. The well has been built as well. Oh well. Sheep farm. Sheep must first be imported via the livestock trader. Okay, so we don't we can't do that then I think. Because we have no trader. Then we need to make a pasture and then we can do a sheep farm. Okay, so that's not a, that's not a uh, thing we can do. So we can only uh, grow flax, but it's going to take a while. So I think we're just going to start hunting. There's also more more food, right? So the next thing that we are going to do is uh, go and uh, hunt this thing down. Now, what is a good way to do this? Because they need to walk a lot for this. Maybe we should put it on this side so they don't have to walk that much. Something like this, and then I will put a road. Let's make a junction over here. And uh, you can change the curvature by control and then doing this. Now I love to make some, some curvy roads, so we will do it like this. And then... Make a bit of curves in it. Wait, what happened here? Oh, well, that's fine. It looks a bit uh, not natural, and I like that. There we go. A road out of our town towards the uh, animal hunters. That's going to be the next thing that we want, so let's speed this up. <clears throat> and we saved ourselves, we have 7 months of fuel, we have so much food already. It's going to be very nice, it's going to be... Uh, uh, we are going to have a nice uh, stockpile in the granary, I love it. And where are my tools then? Where are my 8 shields and spears left? But they, they should be somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Maybe they are not visible? I don't know. It's not in the storehouse. Can we get to a large storehouse, but we need planks for that. I don't know, guys. I have no idea, but they are not picking it up, so it's not somewhere on the map then, I think. Very, very strange, if you ask me. Yeah, that's the storage of the uh, saw pit. Yeah, I don't know. So I guess we're going to put the storage down and we're going to start making planks. So they go under the uh, the thing sometimes and then they will uh, saw it into planks over here. They put it over there. Now we have five planks. So from one timber you make five planks. And we need how much for the church? Twenty. We do have the stone already from the start of the game. And yes, we need to wait. Oh, never mind. They already brought the uh, the timber, so they are now starting to work on it. And it's, it's finished already, so that is nice. Just a small hunting camp to hunt the animals. And yes, they are not going to run away. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a family over here because we need hides. Now there's a hunting limit. When a population of a herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. Um, I think that is important to keep the uh, animals uh, growing. They need to reproduce themselves, right? So, And apparently you find uh, some bows. 
and arrows, and you shot down Bambi. How dare you, shooting down Bambi. Well, that is our first uh, meat. So we get another type of uh, food, which is good against diseases, and we will get some hide, so we can finally make some clothes. And yeah, now we have no more uh, people working. I guess we will put the, uh, the family out of the saw pit when uh, uh, we have enough planks. Now, what do we have for vegetables over here? We have some... Coal... How do you call it in English? I don't even know. I think the... What are these things? Are these carrots? Yeah. I think these are carrots. Hey, we have a new family. We now have seven families. So we have one ready to build again. And we have another one. Oh, no. No, we don't have another one. We have a family member join... A family. So we have not two but three in the house. And yes, they are getting their stuff. So it is somewhere. It's somewhere laying around. The spears and shields. But I don't know where. I want to know. Where are these things, man? I don't know. It should be somewhere. Where are they gonna put this stuff, man? One here. Okay, they can get helmets, I guess. It's four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fourteen. Six left, yeah. Where? I don't know. It is, un it is not visible, I guess. No, that is interesting, right? Meat minus one. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Uh, do we need the people on the storage here in the granary? I don't think we need that for now. So let's put down storage and the granary. And uh, let's start going and get something else uh, produced. So maybe we should start doing some farming of flax. We have uh, lots of foods coming in. I mean, it's June, so it's a bit late. I don't know if we're gonna farm anything, actually. But I wanna farm. So, you need a farmhouse used to employ families on the field. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes. But no later than November. Then they will sow them with the chosen crop. Harvest happens around September. Then the crops are transported to the farmhouse and wheat is threshed into grain. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice building. Well, we know that we have a good field over there. Fields in Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Uh, later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing m uh, much bigger fields far more efficiently using oxen. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about the soil they grow on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, emmer, I think, is some, some sort of wheat. Flax, barley, and rye. So the barley needs to go here. And the flax need to go there. Uh, let's go with wheat, I guess. No, let's go with flax because we need more clothing. I don't think we have enough clothing by only hunting, so... Why is it... Oh, it was stuck over there. Uh, let's make a plot over here. Okay, a little bit bigger. And let's not do it... Uh, yeah, you can only add four, four lines, right? You cannot do five. Yeah. One. Uh, 
Oh, there's no video. Video. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field set's priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types, or even better, leaving the field follow for a year. Okay. And now I can click here and we can change the thing. Oh, it's only 46? Really? Well, I wanted to go with flax. It can be weaved into linen. Crop rotation. Bring back the lost fertility. Crop rotation triggers after the harvest season and skipping the field follow regenerates the most fertility. Oh, and then the second year we can do something else. Oh, that is interesting. So if I make four plots, we can just switch things around. Plowing progress, sowing progress, crop growth, harvest growth. Field priority and force early harvest. Okay, so we can do some harvesting. Okay, but now they're not going to work here. Because we need a farmhouse. Do we need one farmhouse per plot or not? No idea. But this is a nice spot for the farmhouse, I think. Okay, well, let's see how that goes. And the flax can be uh, weaved into linen. With the weaver. Okay. Gonna set up that industry. Uh, let's build a road that way. Uh, I don't need that much curvature now. It's farms. Wait, it told me I could click it. There we go. What is happening? Oh, they have a disease. There we go. Oh, and there's a road coming out of there as well. So let's uh, connect that road as well. There we go. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs. How do we get that? Might speed up their recovery. While a va uh, varied diet increases disease uh, resistance. Yeah, so someone is sick right now. Don't know who. Someone is sick. That's not good. So I have no idea how the farmhouse works, but uh, I'm going to make four fields and get all the crops because I like farming. Now let's go to speed four. So no fuel, still going fine. You're making some planks so that we can start making um, the uh, church. Yeah, we need three timber, so my ox needs to bring it over there. Resources stolen by nearby bandits. Stolen goods from us. Awaiting orders. One, two, three, four. Okay, we cannot take these down, I think. Well, shit. They have taken our goods. Did they take the... Uh, <gasps> did they take the uh, shields and spears? I think they did. Yeah, I don't know where they were. I don't know how that works. I only know that we are eating a lot of berries. <laughs> ah, we are building the farmhouse. 
Nice. Okay, they, they can start building when there's only one of the three timber. So that is good to know. What are you bringing? What are you... Why do you have your, your cart over here? I don't know. Maybe we can upgrade the farm. I'm gonna make a field here, here, and then one behind the houses. And what I also like to do is build a road behind the house, because they have this, this entrance, right? So let's make sure that we are uh, using that. Just for a, from some sort of back, back road over here. I like that. There we go. Maybe we should put the roads next to the uh, the fields. What is... What the... Yeah, I'm gonna put roads next to my fields. I think that looks perfect. Yeah. Oh, is it finished? No, it's not finished. Not yet. We do have the timber. Uh, are we getting uh, meat? Yeah, a little bit. We have a lot of firewood. We have eight months of firewood. It's going fine. And we have six hides. So we could make some uh, clothing. By the hides. Do we have them in the storehouse? No, because no one is working in the storehouse. The farmhouse. Interesting. I don't know how many people can work here. I know that it's June, so we need to hurry if we want to get some flax. So what we should do is, is change the flax into the wheat. next season or something okay there are only three types at the moment wheat flax and barley and emmer is wheat so that's a bit annoying to know if you don't know that emmer is wheat i think and flax and barley and we have rye oh there are four types it's not showing over there need to do some planning about it uh, did we build the farmhouse there we go, they are building on it. Toop, 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 toop. Guess they're gonna build a fence. Yeah, there we go. Okay, oh! Yeah, we can put a lot of people on the farmhouse. Let's put one uh, one uh, season of, uh, thing over here. Farming cycles. If the field is not set to follow, workers will plow it and sow the crops as soon as possible. If the field is not set to follow. Burn the field. Wow. Yeah, but what is follow? There we go. Follow is to not work the field, right? Yes, so you can put another thing on, or you don't. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh, you're working on the field? And can we see... Yeah, it's now getting a bit of a... Uh, plowing progress. Okay, interesting. And we have a new family, and now we have no more room. So, what can we do? We can upgrade our houses. To get an expanding living space. And I think that's a good idea. So let's uh, upgrade these two. I'm going to do the other ones as well. Uh, we don't get any wealth at the moment. Because you only get wealth later in the game. Yeah and I still don't know where my shields are. We have five shields and spears left. 
So they did not steal any of my shields and spears. They, sh they stole something else. I have no idea. Alright. Why are you walking all the way over here? No idea. Let's get another field here. So... Uh, we have the flex over there. Barley needs to go over there. So we should make two fields here then. For the barley. You know? That we can switch them around. Okay, and we know that, that we're gonna build two, uh, two barleys here, then we need to fill this with, I guess, emmer. Don't snap. Okay, that's fine. But they can switch Emmer and Flex can switch each other. And the Bali and Rai can f can do that as well. Barley. And then the rye field goes over here. And these fields are not going to be... Can I stop this? Yeah, crop type follow. So we're not going to use them right now. Let's only do the this one. We have them, we have them set up for now. Yeah, and now I can't build a road in between it. So we're going to destroy them. So I want a road. We need to do it one by one and then build a road around it. Why? Because it looks better. And that is very important. Okay. snapping it's so annoying I don't want it to snap but it's it's snapping well let's do it this way then barley stop snapping Like this. So I might build another farmhouse over there. And now we need another one. So the barley and the rye over here will be uh, changed. <sighs> Why is it snapping? They need to stop the snapping. Uh, let's make a connection to the road over here. There we go. And then go around here and make a connection here as well. And then like this. Okay, at least we now have four fields. And let's make a connection over... Here and maybe here as well because why not? So 
Bit of road redundancy, right? How does it look on the map here when I zoom out? Yeah. It looks okay. Those hardworking people, man. That's what they are. So we're not gonna uh, do any crop type here. We, we will do follow. And I think when we change them later on... Yeah, we did 60 over here. 59. 56. 57. Barley 39, 43, 52, and 57. So we will go with barley over here. Apparently I, d I can't do any rye. I don't see the rye in this, uh, this screen over here. <laughs> oh well. And uh, oh, it's a long episode guys. I will end it over here. Uh, we have room for more people. We're getting more families in, and the next thing that we are going to do is uh, start getting some, uh, some leather, I think. So hopefully I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.